Hey guys, welcome to Coffee with Courtney. We're here in Denton, Texas now at West Oak Coffee Bar where I'll be interviewing Gabriel Killian talking about his project, Identify. Hey Gabriel. How you doing? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. All Let's right. go get some coffee. Let's do it. Thanks for having us today. Of course. How you doing? How you doing, Gabriel? Man, this place is so cool. Oh my gosh. So what do you, what do you usually get? Either black coffee or the matcha breeze. That's what I go for every time. That sounds awesome. But you guys usually have a lot of specials? We do. So every season we feature drinks that pertain to that season. Cool. So we had specials for spring. And then this summer we have summer special drinks that feature um, more iced drinks because of the weather. Of course. Um, drinks that are refreshing that people can come in when they're hot and cool off with. Awesome. So what's one of the ones that's doing really well right now? Uh, I would say one of our more popular ones is either the West Oak um, Shake or the Dark and Stormy, yeah. which is served in a Moscow Mule mug. It um, has ginger beer, our cold brew coffee on tap, a little bit of lemon juice, and a sprig of mint. Oh, that sounds so good. And I saw something about a coconut drink. Yes, what is and that? we also have coconut syrup that we make from scratch in the kitchen. No and way. so we can either use that for a hot latte or an ice latte. Uh, it's especially delicious with like coconut milk, hemp milk. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm sold on that one. I'm getting a coconut latte for sure. All right. Years. Wow. And so this place has only been open for a couple years, right? Right. Not even. It's right. It's only been open about a year and a, wow. two months, I think. They just celebrated their one year. So have you been a fan since day one? Absolutely. It's a great place, yeah. So is this where you get all your best work done? I can't say that because there's so many interesting places here in Denton that I love to hang out at, of including course. bars and coffee shops and restaurants. And they all have Wi Fi and they all have like a really open, inviting atmosphere. So I enjoy many Perfect. places. Yeah. Sometimes you want to switch the energy up because every place kind of has its own crowd and its own energy. So I love it. But I do spend the majority of my time here. Right. I love what my decorators have done with my office. Right, of course. Thank <laughs> you for the vibes. What's your favorite drink here then? This one right here, actually. It's the Matcha Breeze. Fancy. It's my favorite one. Yeah, Other than that, I'm really boring with coffee. It's just black. Yeah, so tell me more about um, what what are you working on here in, here in Denton? I heard that there's a project that has your name all over it. It seems like you have a, a, a strong passion for the city. So why? What? I do. Uh, Denton is known for the arts. It's known for music and, of course, painting and all of those types of things. Spoken word even is known. I'm none of those things. I'm not that type of artist, but I study sustainable development and I love the idea of bringing people together. And so what I wanted to do was launch something in this city that highlights the fact that we do work so well together that it is a cohesive community, but also in a way that brings people even closer together to work toward a common goal on our shared path. Right. It's called Identify. That's excellent. So how, how would that work? How would the community as, as local professionals or local businesses or even just uh, you know customers how, do, how would you get involved well, the ideal is my dad always said if you want to be successful find the world's greatest need and fill it now I don't know what success meant to my dad exactly but success to me means connection it means bringing the world closer I think now more than ever that's what we need and so what I try to do or trying to do with Identify is develop a model in which everyone feels a vested interest in this community. They all understand that even though we are diverse, that we're also extremely talented, which means there are a lot of people here that has amazing things to offer to make the community better. And I also want them to realize that even though we're diverse, we're still moving together on the, the same path like I mentioned with shared values. When you get down to it, people have shared values. They all want the same thing. They all want to be happy. They all want to feel safe. They all want to work together, you know? And so that's what I'm hoping Identify accomplishes. It shows this community that we all do literally have a vested interest in making this community successful and making it flourish. Right. So was it something that you were just walking down the street one day and you looked around and you said, this is what we need to do? Or what motivated you to do this? Well, again, like I said, I'm not a singer, songwriter, or a painter, but I thought of all the things that I've studied and the things that I'm passionate about, what is it that I have to offer this city? 
And so Identify was the best idea I had. And it started about two years ago. And it was originally inspired by a website called handup.org in which individuals have the ability to go on there and donate money towards specific causes that are represented through nonprofit organizations and then that way you know that you're actually directly contributing to meeting needs in your community. Right. And so I wanted to develop something that's similar than that but also helps build economy and empowers people in their particular art, whatever that might be. So what I developed to identify is a membership program which allows individuals to become members, businesses to become members, and then we're donating from those membership proceeds to nonprofit organizations that we've partnered with that are meeting real needs in the community, whether it be social, environmental, or even animal needs in the community. So now both the individuals and businesses are directly contributing to meeting needs in the community right. and both realize that they identify. They're both yeah. on the same page, moving in the same direction. If you know people want to, um, after hearing what you have to say, if they wanted to get on board now, what would they do? The, the way that they can get involved initially is to tell their story. Second is the membership program. We want individuals and businesses to become members because that's what's going to make Identify successful. It is our business model, if you will, and so what it provides is the opportunity for these individuals that after they become members and directly contributed to needs, as I said earlier, and businesses become members and their proceeds from their membership fee is directly contributing to needs in the community, businesses have generously offered to provide exclusive discounts to individual members only and so now this individual has the opportunity to both give and receive and then businesses obviously we're, we're hoping to develop loyalty for them through the, through the membership program and so as these individuals identify and these businesses identify we're helping build that connection that cohesion that collaboration all of those C words yeah. to bring people together both businesses and individuals to say hey you can work together building this community in today guys. I had so much fun hanging out here in Denton and soaking up all the community vibes that Gabriel was talking about. Make sure to get involved with Identify and make sure to reach out to me. Use the hashtag Coffee with Courtney G because I want to hear about what you're doing in other parts of the region and see how we can get you on the books. We'll see you next time. Thanks.